Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dan Kiesing, and welcome to our first look at Earhart. What is Earhart? Earhart is a twin-stick roguelike where you take the role of a young pilot, and it's pretty unique, and it's got a unique feel to it, and it's unlike anything I've really played before. It's, it's uh, the premise is you, your goal is to take your ship, and there's a lot of customization in it, but uh, the goal is to take your ship and go fish in the air. And I'm not sure if that makes sense to you. I'm not sure it makes sense to me, but that's kind of what makes Earhart Earhart. And I want to actually start with the base model ship because I've been, I had to play this to fully understand what was going on. So let's go ahead. We're going to go to our the base model ship here, which is actually, we, we have the base model ship. I just want to change this weapon here. So let's go into this. Uh, how do we change? There we go. Okay. So we're going to go with the bolt cannon. So this is your starter ship. Um, the way the game works is the currency in the game is fish. And you'll see right away we'll, we'll launch vertically. And then the game will, will go to a top-down view. But it does integrate a vertical, in, a vertical dive and a northern climb, if you will. So right here your goal is to go around and collect the fish. The fish are converted into oil. And the oil is then transport it into currency so the way these things work is you go through each level you try to get as many fish as you possibly can and you will encounter some enemies along the way and the first level it's, it's pretty sparse and what you see right here this is our opportunity to go to the next stage but we don't want to do that yet because we haven't collected enough fish to make our enough oil to upgrade our ship. So this is the base model ship. I'll give you guys the mechanics. So it is a twin stick shooter. It's very difficult to play on the keyboard just based on the mechanics and the way it's set up. It's, in my opinion, it's much better played with a Xbox or you know any sort of controller. Um, I use the Xbox One controller just because I have one and plug it in. And so here is our secondary weapon. You can see I can aim any way, any way and shoot around, right? But my primary weapon, you've actually got to be facing the direction of your ship or plane to actually hit it. So it makes it difficult when you see when we'll encounter some enemies. It makes it difficult. So here we go. It makes it difficult to, to land a shot on this guy. So you're kind of stuck using your secondary weapon here. And sometimes when you destroy enemies, they will also drop some oil, which you can then salvage. So this game's really interesting because it, it, it institutes a, a dynamic where... You keep going until you feel like you can't go anywhere more, and then you you gotta go back home, and you can you need to convert your oil and your fish into currency, and then you can upgrade your ship, and then you're okay. But it's it's also it's got that dynamic where you want to keep going forward and keep going forward, and you kind of get greedy. So as you see here, we're we're flying over our home base, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go north. Or vertically to the next stage. Uh, one of the cool mechanics of the game is that anytime we could bail and go to our home base and return everything that we've collected. But to do that, there's a kind of a, a little mini game that makes it interesting. So, alright, so here we're on stage two. Things start to get a little bit heated up. You're also going to notice that the art style in this game is, you know, it's like it's cell shaded and it's kind of cute and it fits. The one thing that doesn't fit, especially in the early stages to me, is the music. I, I do enjoy the music, it just doesn't seem to fit with this, like, we're being swarmed by all these people. So a couple other things in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see our, our life, we're at 16, and our oil, oh god, no, oh, is at 102. So right when I get around 9 or so, then it's my, my chance to bail. The other thing is we do have a secondary weapon, which is a harpoon, which you can use to actually capture ships I mean not ships capture fish no get out of here boys okay so now we're supposed to be heading heading south here I think we okay here we go so here's the mini game you've got to make it all the way back to your base and we did it very quickly that was a little chaotic but we could have collided into any of those rocks and our game would have been over but lucky for us we made it back uh, we caught four fish and uh we made $122. So now at this point, you can make a decision. Hey, we can... We've collected that money. We could go to the workbench and we could salvage some stuff if we choose to do that. We could go to the shop and we could buy some different weapons. We could upgrade and get an entirely new ship. Uh, but for our purposes, and during the 
previous run when I was playing this to kind of get a feel for the game, I actually unlocked, or I purchased a machine gun, which is superior to that bolt weapon we just had. So now we're actually going to make a run at this. And each time you go out, you'll see at the bottom it says, the fish population is at the minim minimum. So technically you could keep going back and forth and farming fish, but they do a good job so that you can't just do that, right? Because the fish take time to respawn, so you can't just sit here and, and collect as much money as you'd like and kind of cheese the game, which is cool. Uh, but we're actually going to go for a solid run here. So as you can see, our health is back to full and our oil is zero. And I, there is some diversity in levels. From my understanding is that there each level has been handcrafted, but the exits change each time. Um, and here we go. We're, let's give this a college try. So here we go. So you can see our this is a far superior turret weapon. We still have our frontal that's hard to hit, but this is way better. So we should be able to do some damage here. And what I was saying about the harpoons, you can use the harpoons to actually catch fish. Or, let's try this. We're going to try and harpoon a ship here, and then ram it into the rocks. So hang in there. Give us the harpoon. We still got hit, though. There we go. There we go. We, we kind of collided into ourselves. That didn't go as planned, but there are some interesting elements to this game. And it's unique. It's, not, it's unlike anything I've really played. You know, I've played some twin-stick shooters and... It's in particular a lot in the in the space genre, but they, they, they do an interesting job at this so far. So I guess the ultimate end game of this, you say, well, where does this thing end? So I don't know how many levels there are. I want to say somewhere around 10. Don't quote me on that. This is an early access, but apparently at the top level, there's the goal is to catch this massive whale and bring it all the way back to your base while it's harpooned. I haven't gotten past stage three, so let's see if we can do that for you guys here. Let's go ahead and... Continue pepper spray. So here's some oil. I don't know what this thing is. I don't know what that is. Maybe some some kind of scrap? Didn't really say. That's one of the things that get... Ooh, we probably didn't want to do that. We just shot a fish up. So we're, we're going to continue to... Destroy some enemies here and try to... Find some fish. Collect as much currency as possible. Press forward. Ooh, what is that? That's got to be some kind of turret. It is. Look at that. So like I said, with the starting bolt weapon, it makes it makes a little bit difficult. So I'm glad we upgraded like we did. That was not good for business. All right, so we're going to keep an eye open for the next jump point or vertical point, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if we can harpoon one of these clowns. There we go. All right, so now let's swing them around the Barbie. All right, so now our health warning. We're, we're starting to get rip skin, so at this point, we probably want to collect whatever we can and then head back south and get our health back up, which is not a bad idea. I'm just looking for any more fish here. And this is where the greed level comes in, right? So all we need is like one or two more fish or four more shots and we're dead, so we're out of here. Okay, hold on. So this is like going around the clock. We have two health left. Nice, we made it. Okay, so we only in seventy dollars. I thought we caught more fish than that, but but apparently not. So our money's been now saved. We're gonna go back out one more time here, and we're gonna try and climb and not get greedy. So it looks like there's thirty percent regrowth of fish. For us, I don't necessarily care too much about level one. We've we've done our due diligence here. Although I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna, if any fish come in our way, we're gonna go for it. So the other thing you do is that you're flying around, there'll be an indicator. Oh, there's some fish. Ooh, give us that oil. All right. Those two, those were some big ones. 96 on that one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump past level two here if possible. Some of these ships are still banged up. So it's a, it's a game of, you know, you're, I don't want to say gambling. You're risking your run each time, or at least you're risking what you have on you. There's a lot of chaos here. Because we really haven't got a ton of fish on the second level. But we'll get a few here. Ooh, ooh. It's it's a unique concept, right? We're fishing. We're getting air fish, right? I don't... Gotta give them credit. With no lack of creativity. All right, so let's actually just skip this and... Ooh, apparently we, it wouldn't let us go up. Maybe there's too many enemies in the area. I know you don't have to clear every enemy to press forward but this guy's hot on our tail here 
Hot for teacher. What do we got here, boys? Okay, so fairly decent. We took four shots to the dome. Haven't seen a whole lot of fish here. Ooh. That was a big one. That was a rainbow colored one. There's another fish, boys. All right. Let's see if we can work our way back to the... The exit. There we go. All right. Cherry Blossom Yard 3. So it says... Fish since the last time I visited. Ooh, this is the furthest I've got. Did you see that big mamba? And now, see, this music to me feels like it fits a little bit better. Oh, we're going to destroy it. I want to take out one of those big fellas. Apparently, you can also steal, like, shields and things like that. I haven't figured out how to do that just yet. Oh, there's a heat seeker. So I think you, you do it with your harpoon nation. I'm trying to harp. Oh! Swing him around. Use him as a shield, boys. See, we're gonna run him right into that. Nice. So there's some strat there's some interesting strats you can do once you get used to the game mechanics and get comfortable with it. But for us, we're looking for fish. Don't shoot the fish though. We shot a couple fish. Oh, that one was I wonder why that was worth so much. Maybe based on the level where we're at. I'm gonna snipe snipe him. Oh. See it's dangerous. Swing him into the rocks. Oh, come on. Rock town. All right, let's get back to business here. Oh, give us all the fish. This is a monster perch. This guy's got heat seekers. All right, I would like to get to the next level here if we can. I wonder if there, there's got to be a new track on each level, huh? Let's take this clown out. Should we try? Let's try to harpoon his shield oh you see that guy get chucked all right here's what we're gonna do we're gonna bring him down with us i think there's we can do that stay out of the rocks stay out of the rocks all right we should still have him was he connected to us this makes sense to me here's what we got we got four flying parrots six pipe fish one pole fish Total fish and total oil, 336. I thought we had... Uh, I guess that's not a bad run. So this is the type of thing, like, uh, when I wanted to play this game ahead of time because I didn't really understand it at all before I recorded. Normally when I do a first look at it, I do it right from the top. But, uh, actually, let's go back home here. I want to see what our... I want to see what our stash is at here. But this one took a little bit to figure out, but I'm glad we did because it's got that... That interesting feel to it. So let's go to the shop here. We have 1246. So let's actually... Let's see if we can upgrade anything here. Bolt weapon. We already have one of those. Shrapnel caster. Chaos battery. So there is... Let's go to the hangar. Ooh, I wonder if we could get a different engine. We could change wings as well. Let's see if we can upgrade that. So let's go to the shop here. And that's basic weaponry. We want to go to... How do we change our... There we go. See, left doesn't... Left, like, changes the whole screen. There we go. Um, I don't know if this upgrades, if we buy this, if it just upgrades our thing, but it doesn't seem like it, right? I mean, we could try buying it, but... Let's not, because I want to save the money. Alright, we're going to go... We're not going to dive for anything. We're going to try to take this thing as as far north as we can. So let's launch here. I wonder what changing the wings would do. But nonetheless. We're not here for fish. We're going to the top. So there's a, a good amount of skill involved in this. There's some strategy in terms of how you want to uh, attack your enemies. What your goal is for each level. And I like it. It is an early access. Uh, it's, a, it's available on Steam right now for $14.99. And... Uh, it's pretty good. Although I, I do see, I did read one of the common complaints is that it's extremely difficult to play with a mouse and keyboard. It just, it doesn't seem to lend itself with the controls to do that. And there's not a whole lot of way to, I don't think you can, you can change the key binding. So that was two of the main criticisms I saw online. But like I said, if you use a controller, it, uh, it kind of negates those effects. All right, so we're looking for the next sky gate, if you will. 
And usually there's an indicator on our HUD when we get close. Ooh, took a bad shot there. Take out the big fella here. So the, there is, I, I don't, I'm unaware of how to do it, but like I said earlier, you could, you can steal weapons and shields from enemies. But let's just look for the exit as my dog Frank goes berserk. So on each, like I said, on each uh, stage after you leave it, the, the exits change. There it is. Okay, so see that that icon on the north part of our screen? There we go. Let's go to yard three. We're going to be looking to go to yard four. Because that's when the good, the good music starts on three, but who knows what's at four. Give us those fish, boys. That fresh perch. Don't you kill my fish. That's ours. Oh, we killed it ourselves. Oh, there's the exit. We're going straight to four. Oh, we can't. Maybe we can't do it with enemies nearby. I think we learned that lesson last time, huh? So let's see if we... Oh, that guy dive-bombed out of nowhere. What's this? Scrap? Scrap, scrap, scrap. Scrappy. All right, we'll, we'll put these guys out of their misery. Now we can go up. We've never been here. Sky layer four. Full population. So because we've never been here, there should be a lot of fish. And there's a big mamba. That was worth, what, 90? What is this thing? I think that's a health. A health upgrade. All right, big fellas. We'll take the direct oil. Ooh, split the D. See, that's that's a, so much greed, I don't know what to do with it. Look at that, it's biplane. I think these are big mambas. Look at, they got the coloration. What are those, 30 a pop? They are. It's a cool concept for a game, I do have to say. But definitely unique. They found a way to make the top-down twin-stick shooter not necessarily... Or they added a layer to it that differentiates it from other top-down... Similar plane or spaceship top-down shooters. What's this? More scraps? Alright, so let's keep an eye out for our... Oh, look at that thing. Let's take him out. I'm not sure we're equipped to take them out, but we're gonna... What if we harpoon that thing? Good idea, bad idea. Keep the heat on him. He's got all sorts of minions though, working, working for him. Hang in there, see? You say, hey Dan, why don't you just face him and use your dual sh Your main shot, it's hard. I prefer to fly around and use our secondary turret here. All right. So I guess, and there's a lot of big mambas around here. Keep peppering them here. Can we shoot those missiles? Uh, we can't. I would like to see what we get for destroying a big fella. All right, stay easy, stay easy. Oh, I don't, where did that come from? There's another fish here. So this is kind of confusing, right? Because you don't know what you can crash into and what you can't. No. Oh, health. Nice health. Alright, we're still looking for the exit here. I'm not giving up. Alright, 12 health. 454 oil. Ooh, give us that big fella. We took it at a cost. Oh, that's, that's greeneries. Nice. Alright, 670. We're starting to get greedy, boys. We're a little banged up here. We gotta keep going north, though. We gotta find it. Oh, the Rainbow Warriors of Hawaii. Wow, we took one in the dome. Oh, guys, he's catching on us. Got him. Where's the exit, though? I haven't seen anything that indicates an exit. It's not up here, huh? I feel like we've done a decent job searching. We only have four health left, so I think that's one rocket to the face. I do want to get to level four here. Nothing on our HUD shows. I don't know what that is. A big mamba. Hang in there. So now, if we were to, di we could dive bomb to go home anywhere. Any, but I look at all the obstructions underneath us. Where's our 
exit unless we have to take the boss out to get there. Oh. Destroy that thing. It's hard to dodge those shots. I don't they're just appearing from nowhere. Still got four health, we're doing okay. Hang in there. We should probably do some level clearing, huh? So maybe we've gotta kill a boss here? I'm not seeing the exit unless... Uh, Dan, uh, 1337, you, you flew by it. Well, thank you. We just shot some fish, boys. A lot of heat in the middle of the map. There it is! Oh, it's swarm! Look at that, it's a zeppelin! It's a zeppelin! Uh, I don't know that we're, we're well enough equ equipped to take on the zeppelin. It's the... It's the old chicken or the egg. What comes first? Do you sacrifice the egg to keep the chicken or just go head first to the zeppelin i kind of want to dive bomb to show you guys to see if we could pull it off going four deep but it's a tough decision and the decision is yours or we could just harpoon this thing oh that's a bad idea change the weapon oh we got we were stuck to it i think our best bet if we're playing this strategically i'm dive bombing and going home taking our 788 and I think we're gonna do that just that all right here we go all right nice dodges dodge 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 no oh we took a shot no we took another no oh we made it oh. <laughs> we should have what would we have 2,000 in the bank we do all right well this is our first look at Earhart. Like I said, it is an early access. It's available for $14.99 on Steam. I'll put a link in the description below. It's a fun little roguelike, and for me, it, it keeps me wanting to come back at least to see what's at the top, but uh, it is a progressive game, right? So every, as we upgrade, you know, it's uh, it's almost like Everspace in that way, in terms of you build on each run, and each run you become stronger and stronger, and it's the journey that makes it fun, not necessarily the final destination. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this first look at of Earhart. If you guys enjoyed it, clicking the like button helps out a great deal. And uh, if you want to check out some other videos on our channel, our primate game we play here is Star Citizen. We post a new video every day at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But uh, thank you guys so much for checking out the video, and I'll see you guys next time.